Now bear in mind that it can be safe to say that D37 is made up of D36, which is the sound for A, that's the arm, and X8, which is spelled D and means give, and that's the cornbread. Okay? Now, for example, check out the symbol D D10. That's the eye of Heru, which is called Horus by many, and it's called Ujat. Now, if I was to choose four different parts and give a sound for each, for example, U, D, J, T, it would be funny anyway, but at least there would be some logic to it. But how am I supposed to make it sound other than what we know it as, which is Ujat and nothing else? Really, to me, it's, it's as full as uh, somebody telling me that the Ankh means Yahweh or Allah or even Yeshua. And by the way, how can Lif Lam Lam Ha Saker spell Allah? Okay? Now, do not let anybody fool you. The main symbols for divinity without specifications are R8, that's the sign for Neter, and if you have three, that's Neteru, that's the plural. Um, N5, that represents the sun, and usually translated as Ra, and V30, pronounced Neb, usually translated as Lord or The. And also, I would like you to pay attention to this. It's from the Per M Heru, the Book of the Dead, as play two. Now, look at the second line. In the middle, you have Aha, and you can see that it takes four symbols to have the sound Aha. And we even have the symbol D36, which Badaranda claims it means Lif Lam Lam Ha by itself. Okay? And as for Seker, uh, you can see there on the top, it's a bit cut off, you know, I had to, to scan it, but you have the Seker boat. So you can see the, the, the symbols, there's three symbols for Seker, then you can see the boat. And then towards the, the bottom, you have Pta Seker Asar. Now the first three symbols, the square, the, the, the sign at the bottom, and then the, what looks like a link facing up, that's for Ptah. And then um, after that, and also I think the, the gentleman sitting down, and after that you have the sign for Seker again, which is the same as the one on the top, right? And uh, on this other page, that, that one that was page, uh, let me check it out. That was page 171, and on the previous page, uh, 170. You have once again Pta um, Seker. Yeah, you can see the three signs for Pta, and then you have the sign for Seker, uh, which are made up of, of of three symbols. Now that's very funny. If we look back again, that he breaks out one arm into Lim Lam Lam Ha Seker, and we can see how many symbols it takes just to say Seker, and earlier just to say. Um, what was it again? Aha, for example, okay? But um, we're going to move right along and see some situation where the symbol is used. And let's find out the meaning, okay? Now, on page 9 of Per Emeru, once again, the Book of the Dead, you have Heru Tataf, the son of King Khufu. Um, we have the symbol twice there, okay, the D37. And since the hawk stands for Heru and the serpent stands for the son F, in this case, D37 obviously stands for the son Ta. Now, I'm sure no one is going to tell me that Allah is the son of Kufu, right? Okay, now, page 102 of the Peremeru, you have a translation, and underneath the sign, D37, it says, hath given. So, once again, give, to give, okay? Now, we're moving to page 103. There it says, verily a son, good is of the giving of God, Okay? So we have the sign D37, and it means the giving there. Okay, once again, to give, nothing to do with Allah whatsoever. I don't think it would be, uh, it would mean, um, uh, verily a son, good is of um, Allah of God. You understand? Because we have the netter sign there. That wouldn't make sense. Okay? Now, page 346, number uh, 22. The translation is as follows, which recordeth the names of those who are to receive offerings. And you can see that the sign D37 is last. So that, that stands for uh, receive offerings. Once again, to give. And um, offering is probably linked to um, festivals. But anyway, we still have to give. It's the same meaning once again. Now next, we're going to move to page uh, 3, 354. 354. There is number 15, the translation is, Doors of the Lords of the Tuat, let there be given unto me. And you can see that the symbol, once again, is at the end. So that stands for given unto me. Once again, give, to give, right? 
and finally we're going to page 401 here we're looking at um, 141 and the translation um, at the end is hidden in form given off okay then it moves to 142 but if you look on the top um, we have the D37 symbol once again you have it twice there and it deals with giving one um, you know so um, now to in conclusion I will give you some um, some references uh, with other pages where you have the D37 symbol the arm with the the cone in the in the end and it always has the meaning of giving or offering or granting or something like that so you can uh, look it up for yourself and I understand that you know a lot of you try to claim try to use Kemet somehow some way uh, to, to give yourself some legitimacy but you're gonna have to start with the foolishness and come correct okay now hotel to my people holla